Tucked away on a side street in Duluth, Minnesota, is the Johns Hopkins Center for American Indian Health Great Lakes Hub. The center opened in 2019, and with this expansion into the Great Lakes region, the center will reach 125 Native communities in 20 states. The Center for American Indian Health started over 25 years ago at Johns Hopkins in collaboration with uh, primarily southwestern tribal communities, including the White Mountain Apache Tribe and the Navajo Nation. And the founder of the center, Matusan Tosham, actually lived and worked as a uh, physician on the White Mountain Reservation. Uh, and when he started working with the community, they were experiencing a lot of loss of their infants due to uh, diarrhea and um, dehydration, actually. And so with White Mountain Apache Tribe, Matu and others created what now is known as Pedialyte, or oral rehydration therapy, which has saved millions of lives across the world. The Center for American Indian Health has its anchor administrative ship, I guess, in Baltimore at uh, Johns Hopkins University. And then we have hub offices all across the southwestern U.S. and here in Duluth, Minnesota. After receiving my Ph.D. in 2007, I really knew I just wanted to come back to Minnesota. I wanted to work with our tribes. About 2012, I started working with people at the Johns Hopkins Center for American Indian Health uh, as a guest lecturer in some of their institute courses. And the more I learned about the center at Johns Hopkins, the more I saw they were really working to influence policy change. And policy change translates into changes at the local level, which translates into differences in our health outcomes. After a lot of years of discussion and a lot of years of trying to figure this out, we joined the Johns Hopkins Center for American Indian Health in uh, 2019. There are 13 who work at the Great Lakes Hub. Melissa and two others are faculty members at Johns Hopkins, and several local undergraduates are also part of the team. Our students serve as research assistants for us, so they do everything from data entry to helping us prep packages to be sent out to communities for both research and public health uh, programming and do everything you can imagine under the sun to make sure that all the work gets done. So for example, we have a family-based drug and alcohol prevention program we do with kids. We are just getting ready to launch a home-based diabetes intervention which focuses on intervening on diabetes in adults but preventing it among our youth. And through all of that, we take the lessons we've learned from all of the research to create what are called empirically or, or evidence-based programs that we hope will have impact. All of our research is a thing called community-based participatory research, so CBPR. And what that means to me is that our community team is equal partners in the process. I may be listed as um, the administrative lead on a project, but I don't lead. I co-lead with the community team. So everything we do involves community-based interviewers, research council members, co-investigators of the projects who decide what should we study, how should we study it. Every questionnaire that goes out, every survey, we painstakingly pour over every single item together to decide, is this worth asking? Is this important to my community? And then our team also works together to get the data back into the community once it's collected. We work uh, with some tri local tribal clinics and hospitals. We also work outside of clinics and hospitals on projects uh, in people's homes. And always, no matter what we do, before we start anything, we get tribal approval through uh, government tribal resolutions. Across our projects, we work with over 80 tribal members from tribes all across the region. The Great Lakes Hub may be a research center, but during this time of a global pandemic, Johns Hopkins has been instrumental in the response to the health crisis. When it hit, we happened to find ourselves working for Johns Hopkins University, which is the number one public health school in the world, and is honestly the leader in tracking the COVID-19 pandemic and doing research on this topic. Because of our home with the center, we've had access to get PPE very quickly out to some of our clinics. We've been able to secure donations and um, funding to send out food boxes, holistic wellness kits that are grounded in our research findings to try to just 
you know, get a little bit of light out there during this very difficult time. And we have access to some of the top information about how to prevent the spread of COVID and we share that with our community teams. Historically and for good reason, when we think about research, especially in Native communities, we don't get a good feeling. Researchers historically have exploited our communities, haven't done research in a way that benefited us. And I hope that our Great Lakes Hub can, can do better, can work to really correct some of those wrongdoings and make research work for our communities in the way we want it to work. We deserve to have access to the top public health information in the world and the top public health school in the world can learn a lot from our communities.